chica! In today's video, I'm actually going to be trying on and reviewing some pretty natural looking synthetic wigs that I just kind of like recently bumped into on Amazon. So I am, you know, kind of excited for today's video because I really like, I really want to show you what kind of gems I found, you know? <laughs> And of course, if I move to the side, those are the ladies behind me that I'm going to put on my head and I'm going to show you how they look like, how they feel like. I'm going to give you some close-ups as well. And so, um, yeah, let's just basically get into this video. So before I'm going to grab them, I'm actually going to prepare my hair to put on a wig. So I have basically two types of caps, which came actually together with a wig and, uh, this is like the first version and then I also have the second version. So one is closed cap, second one is actually just like an open cap because it's uh, it has a different functionality almost when you put it on. So let's try it on, okay? So first of all, I washed my hair today, okay? So I will have um, a lot of volume, right? So a wig cap is actually a good kind of tool to make sure that that fullness of your own hair, if you just have a lot of hair, uh, gets kind of like squished, right? So what you do is here, so this is that type of cap, so normally you should kind of be like scooching your hair somewhere, right? And then you have this... My hair is looking so strange right now. <laughs> this whole video is gonna be weird, but it is necessary, okay? So then you have this tail, and what you do is you tuck that tail basically underneath this part, right? And then you just move your cap over your ears, and then you slide it over like that. Now, if you feel like the wig is kind of like uh, sliding down throughout the day, and you have to like pull it back to your forehead a little bit because it's going like that direction. You don't want that. We also have like this band right here, which you can put basically like on top of your hair. You can secure it here in the back. And now you just have like that grippy texture because it's velvet. And your wig is not going to go anywhere. So the first wig I'm going to try is actually going to be this lady right here. I don't have the names for them yet. <laughs> um, maybe I should call them like Rachel and Jennifer. Like, I don't know. If you have any other names, put them in the comments down below. I'm always excited to see what you guys come up with. But this one is going to be the first one. So let me grab it, okay? I'm wearing like shorts, but thank God you cannot see it. Oh, you can see it. Okay. Sexy. So this is our first lady. Let's call her Rachel, okay? I don't have a comb right here, so I probably need to grab me a comb, but this is how the wig looks like. As you can see, there is like a natural hairline built into it. And um, this is what the inside of the wig looks like. As you can see, this is like synthetic, okay? This is not real hair. That's why I was like so surprised. Like how can this be synthetic and look so freaking natural, right? <laughs> so I was shook. I remember my mom having a wig when I was little. She had like the brown wig, just like everything straight with a bang. I remember I put that wig on at some point and then my aunt made me take it off. <laughs> so yeah. Um, the reason why I wanted to buy a wig is because I just wanted to experience that, right? So how can you have something that is synthetic look so natural and how will it look like on your head, you know? And sometimes I have noticed I make impulsive decisions. So I can go from wanting to change my color from blonde to brown, for example, in one day and then regret it later. Or I would go back and forth in, in, in you know, thinking about should I cut my bang? And then I would cut my bangs and then it will go to shit and I would have to like grow out my bangs. So I feel like wig is a very nice kind of uh, tool to transform you just for a day and kind of like fill in that craving you have of change, right? And also like if you have greasy hair and you don't want to wash your hair, but you have to still look a little bit like you're there, 
you can just put a wig on. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so as you can see, we have also these um, straps. So you can make it shorter or shorter. You can make it tighter or looser. And uh, normally I put them like on the first one because of this thing, it's not gonna go anywhere. If you want them tighter, you can make them tighter. So I'm just gonna do this. So I just hook it. You know, like you have those bras with straps that you can just kind of like take off. That's basically more or less the same thing. Um, if I find a picture, I will put it on here. This is from Haircube. The other one is also from Haircube, where you are. So the Jennifer is also from Haircube. These are just my names that I gave them. It's not a real name for the, for the wig, okay? I will put the picture here uh, so you can see how it looks like. I bought them through Amazon Germany. I think you can, like if you have Amazon in your country, you probably will get them there as well. The wig has a value of like 20 to 23 euro. Uh, so I'm gonna put this one on and listen, it, it's gonna take you probably a while to put a wig on. I'm still learning, okay? So if you are like an experienced wig wearer, don't come after me. <laughs> so I try to kind of like first slide it on here and then I take the straps and I just pull them back to the lower side. Oh. It's gonna look freaking weird in the beginning, uh, keep in mind, but it's gonna be all okay, okay? And I'm gonna grab a comb. So this is how it looks like in the beginning. So what you do is you're now gonna lift your wig and kind of put it in where you want. Okay, I'm gonna put it a little bit higher because the bangs of this wigs are a little bit longer on the longer side. Okay, let me grab a comb and then I will comb my hair and then we're gonna see how it looks like in the full picture. Oh, I'm back. Let me just zoom you out a little bit so you can see. Okay, this is perfect. So I'm gonna comb the wig. It will kind of like minimize the volume on top a little bit, right? Because the wig is like all shook up from the moment you kind of like flip it. Um, the reason why I chose this wig is because it's more or less kind of looking natural uh, or like the closest to my uh, like natural dyed hair right and so i didn't want to look completely different right besides the bang here um but i just wanted to look a little bit more similar but like slightly different you know what i'm saying so this was kind of like the starting wig it absolutely looks natural and is not too super shiny and if it is like a little bit on the shiny side you can put a little bit of a dry shampoo on top of your roots or just like a put a little bit of translucent powder and mattify it slightly. That's what I did. Um, this wig, when it came in, it did not have kind of those side bangs, right? Because I have to alter the wig to make it kind of look a little bit more suiting for my person, you know, for my personality and the way I look. Um, this wig came in basically with a straight bang, right? And what I did is I cut the bang and I also cut these like side pieces right here because these pieces were actually pretty long up till here and I just modified it and now I kind of have those swept bangs. The reason why I also wanted to do bangs is because it's going to hide this, right? Because if you have like a, a lace front wig, you're still gonna kind of see, you know, where the lace starts, right? And then it kind of goes, but when you have bangs, you know, it's kind of covered. And so what I can also do, as you can see, we have lace, uh, we have like, what is it called? We have these things right here, the wefts, right? And because um, I took a hair color, which is more or less natural to my hair, I can actually just pull a little bit of a hair of mine out from the cap, right? And comb it. And then as you can see, it kind of like blends it. So it makes it a little bit more natural looking. I can do the same for the other side as well. Just pull it out, you know, like, let's say if there is like windy weather outside and it just kind of blows. 
it's going to be like less noticeable, right? But this is how it looks like. What do you guys think about this one? Is it a, what was the name? The Rachel? The Rachel? Is it the Rachel? So I feel like it kind of looks nice. Let me just kind of like give you a full 360 degrees of churn. It looks actually really nice. It looks natural, okay? It looks actually so natural for a synthetic wig. Like if I would, if you would not know that I wore a wig or if you would not know how the wig looks like, you would not know that I wear a wig. Like if I would go to the store, you would not know that I wear a wig because it is very natural looking for synthetic hair. For 23 euros, how is that possible? I was so like, or it's gonna be crap, it's gonna be crap, it's gonna look really fake, but it didn't. It actually looks pretty nice and it doesn't really tangle a lot, you know? You would expect synthetic wigs to tangle a lot, but I feel like these don't really tangle that much, you know? It does lose us like a few hair in the beginning where you just kind of like go through with your fingers to the hair. Yes, of course it's going to shed, but that's why just brush it once and don't touch it anymore, okay? <laughs> but yes, how like how would you rate this wig? If you could give a number out of 10, what would be your number? I would give this wig like probably a nine out of 10, like a nine and a half. Let me just give you also this kind of like situation. So you see here are the wefts, but I try to do like a, I took my hair dryer and I said, okay, let's say if the wind blows pretty, pretty hard, are the wefts going to be visible? And they weren't. So, and I really like took the hair dryer close to my hat scalp and they were still intact. They did not like step aside or anything. Uh, they were, they were just there. And um, yeah, I kind of love this wig because it's really like natural looking and the swept bangs make me feel some kind of way, you know? <laughs> I love it. I love this one. Can you imagine $23? Like shit, right? And so much length. Like I feel like a completely different person, you know? Absolutely. This is like transformation in five minutes. I have to admit first time when I put a wig on, it kind of looked a little bit weird for me because I was like, damn, like I look like a completely different person. Am I going to be able to pull it off? But when I just kind of like altered the bangs and created the side um, parts as well, it kind of fell into place. And now I feel like a freaking blonde wavy goddess. <laughs> so yeah, this was the first wig. Like another reason why I wanted to buy a wig is because um, I have like clip-in extensions and I feel like when you wear clip-in extensions, doesn't matter how good you put them in your hair. I'm stuck right here. Um, by the end of the day, you will still have like a headache, you know, from the clips being clipped to that part of the hair. I need help. Send help. Please send help. I'm stuck. Ha! It worked. And so I thought, well, maybe wearing a wig is going to be less painful. It's going to be like slightly on a warmer side for sure, but it's going to be like less painful by the end of the day, you know? Because I feel like wearing a wig is kind of comfortable, you know? If you secure it the right way and so on, it's, it's going to stay there. It's not going to move. It's, it's not going to put like those clips pressure onto your roots because you just put something on top of it and that's it so i'm gonna put it back like this and so let's now go to was it jennifer yeah jennifer <laughs> so jennifer has a different wave style let me pull her up Jennifer is also a little bit ashy, right? Jennifer has a different length and Jennifer also has different style of curls. 
I had to do the same thing with Jennifer that I did with the Rachel because I had to modify the bang a little bit, right? So this one, again, looks pretty on the natural side. I feel like this one looks even more natural than this one in the root, root section because here you can actually see like some blonde synthetic fibers coming through if that makes sense. So let me put this wig up. It's the same wig as, you know, the way, the same structure of the wig as the other one. This one also between 20 and 23 dollars. So yeah, let me put this one up like here. So first I'm starting with my forehead and then I'm taking the cap and just pulling it first up and then down and now I'm like down 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 and then putting it right here so I try to match it to where my actual hairline starts but this is like more or less the same style but only like different hair, co hair color and different curls but also with a bang midsection um, looks slightly different than the other one. This one I had to really like adjust because it's like it's like really dark roots compared to what I already have and like silvery hair like down but where you wear it like for half an hour you kind of get used to it. So let me give you like a 360 degrees of this wig. This one I actually like a lot, you know, and this is like one of my favorite ones. Of course, not every wig is going to be your type of wig because this is something that I also noticed when I was looking at the pictures and I was like, um, do you think this wig is going to suit me? And it looked really nice in the picture. But then when I like try to visualize myself wearing it, I was like, hmm. I don't think the style is going to suit me, you know? <laughs> so this is the wig sitting tight here. Let me just do this. Do we need another one? Do we need another one? Do we need another one? So it, oh, it looks just so natural. You know? You know, it looks so natural. So what number would you give this wig? I feel like this is again, it's probably like a 10 out of 10 for me, you know? I love this one more than I love the other one. But like in general, I love them both, but I would give this one probably a 10 out of 10, just because I like the style more of this wig and the way it feels and the curls. But uh, you know, when it comes to the quality, it is just, both really nice. Let me know which one you liked. Did you like the first one? You know, the Rachel or the Jennifer? Um, I like them both. I cannot choose between, you know, one of the two. You know, sometimes it's like a journey, an experience that you need to do. And I'm really glad that I tried on this experience and that I was able to find these type of products. So yeah, I mean, the video is different than makeup, but hey, sometimes we need a little bit of variety, right? <laughs> So, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope it was a fun video and um, I will actually see you on the next one. See you later, alligator. Bye.